Hey everyone, D Dub Squizzy here. Welcome back to Hollow Knight. So, actually, we're gonna go up first. And we are gonna take this roof over here before anything else. Right, I have the wings now. I forgot about that. Head under here first. mask. Alright, so that's super helpful. Of course, we got the vessel. And upgraded the nail. Yeah, we're moving right along. So we'll go to get corner for out. we get Cornifer, we'll head down to deal with the rest of the flukes and whatnot. Sadly, very close to reality as far as flukes work. Those creatures are vile and horrible. They really shouldn't exist. <laughs> Get a map of them waterways. So yeah, that just leaves us with the fleet marm and the area around the fleet marm. We're almost done with this horrible labyrinth. Ow. So the Fluke Marm, I remembered having trouble with it on my my most recent normal playthrough that I was doing. And I said it was because I couldn't one-shot the things, but then I could now, and I was pretty sure I had the same nail upgrades. Um, the reason I couldn't one-shot it in the past... The reason I couldn't one-shot it in the past is simply because I didn't have Crank on it. So the blue flies, if you only have one nail upgrade, it's a tank and hit from a sharpened nail. And these belfies are a handful. Whoop. There we go.
that fluke fly seemed to just stop following me. I remembered them being relentless in their pursuit. Whoa! And I forgot he existed. Alright, there wasn't anything else over here, was there? Just access to this place, yeah. Waterways are terrible. Can you dream nail these? You do not. I never remember. Man, this thing just takes so long to kill because you gotta wait for it every day. Okay, so I should be able to bring down the flute. It's not very difficult in general. Being able to one-shot at little minions should make this a relative piece of cake. Nope. Ah, I don't have a bitch shriek. Got it. Fish Reef makes that fight even easier. If you can't one-shot those flukes, do not attempt that fight. Because they will very quickly overwhelm you. Oh, right. Ah. I could have gotten away from that. My reactions were quicker. Now we gotta get through the big boots. They hurt a lot. Normally you have to go through this place like twice if you're going to get all the the hunter's journal entries filled out. Given that that's like the one completion thing I don't care about in this one, I'm not going to concern myself with that. should be dead. Alright, since I took the upper path, I'm pretty sure I don't have to kill the one there, so I'm not going to. Which I believe just leaves us with one alive. Whoa, pretty close. Where I can never figure out a consistent way to kill those things easily. It's just tank the damage and then kill them before they kill you. Best strategy I've ever had for them. It's not a great one, but it gets the job done at least. Do 
I have a key to open this now so I don't have to later? I don't. I don't really have a need to go in there, I just like opening secret areas. To, it might seem a bit useless, but I'm gonna head down to the hidden station. Because I didn't unlock it last time, and I want to. Then I'm gonna stop by the grub father and the seer. I don't know exactly how much essence and grubs it takes to get pale ores from them, but I, I want more pale ores. I want the next upgrade. After that, I'll be heading over to the Crystal Peak. And I'll be getting more Pale War from over there. And killing the Enraged Guardian. I don't believe there's anything else up here, is there? Yeah, no, there's not. I'm not going to the Spire yet, because I don't want to take on Watcher Knights without being fully prepared. like to be able to one-shot them. Whoa. Got a lot of security down in this basin. Must have been the Pale King's defenses, because his palace is nearby. I really do wonder what happened to him. I never tell you. He's just gone. It's possible he just deserted. I don't know if that's the sort of thing he'd do. I really don't know. Checking with Salute to see if I can get the last charm notch. Sly has some stuff that's worth getting as well. Uh, but I'll check in with that after I'm done buying other things. I knew it. I knew there was going to be one of them down there.
goodness, they're taking chunks out of me. Oh, now I'm taking hits to tick ticks and whatnot. Starting to feel like a real noob. Alright, and then I'm gonna head down to the Ancestral Mound. We're gonna get the Whispering Root over here. There's some up above as well that I need to get. Got it. Alright, so I still need to get Glowing Womb and Salubra as well. And head back up to the Grub Father, get everything I can out of him. Head back to stag station just so I can get that. Because now it's inconvenient to move. I don't mind the enemies getting harder, but various passageways down here getting blocked off just seems like a real dirtbag move. I don't know why they did that. It's a lot of money. Holy cow, have I really rescued that many more grubs? Oh. Look at all my money. Charm notch? No, not even a charm notch. I feel cheated. I don't know how much essence it is for a pale ore, but I probably don't have enough for that either. And that does not sound good. Put the most chill! Man, these get expensive. Pantomas chill! I don't want to drop the rest of that money on there until I check with Salubra. Also, did I ever get Grim Charm? Or Grim Child? I did not. Not yet, I haven't.
Off he goes. I love how distraught Elderbug is at that. Actually, you know what I can do? Not that. Keep pressing the wrong button. I have 14 rancid eggs. I have a key now. I'm gonna go unlock Steel Soul Chain, get some stuff, and get those extra fragments. Ton of money for these. Ring corner. Ring corner. Ring corner. Sell a couple more so I've got enough to co <coughs> cover whatever other costs I need to. Ring corner. Ring corner. Ring corner. One more. Alright, so, so that should cover the bill. The last things that he got. I can buy out a Zelda for all of the stuff that she has. None of it's particularly useful to me, but I might as well get it. Oh, he has more after these. I forgot about that. No, just the one. Papa Sude. Okay, now we go to Salubra. And get glowing room. I'll be back to see how much money I have. Might sell some more, because I want to go get the Zelda stuff. As useless to me as it is, it's things to buy. I might as well get it all. One g gimmick that has to do with that enemy, I totally forgot. Like the Gruz Ultra Mother. I've never been quite clear on what that thing is supposed to be. It's clearly one of them, but it's way bigger than the others. Ow. Fourteen hundred. 
All right, well, looking around, let's see what I got. Fragile Heart, actually, is pretty nice. That usually ends up being a part of my build. But if I get one more notch, and then quick slash, I'll replace it with that. I do need to head over to Kingdom's Edge at some point. So was the door like a spirit door? What was that? Oh, yeah. All right, that's all I got. I do kill all of these every time, um, but I'll do that at a later date plan on having all the mask upgrades and then a specific type of charm build that I do for it. But I will be dealing with Revic and everything else in here. Alright, well we did get a pale ore. Which is definitely ideal. So we're gonna go back to Dirt Mouth. Grab the crystal peaks. Should just be a brisk slaughter. <laughs> to the enraged guardian and bring him down. Which, I can't remember if he has a vessel or a mask shard that he's guarding, but whichever one it is, we're going to get another. And then I'll be heading up for the, uh, the other pale ore. We'll be picking up next episode, getting the next nail upgrade. Then. Oh, yep, missed it.
come on. There we go. The vessel fragment. No, it's a mass shark. Oh, I thought it looked like a vessel fragment. All right, well, he's dead. Yeah, we're just heading straight out. I, know. I do use the map sometimes for the Crystal Peaks. All the areas end up looking... Oh, I never opened this. End up looking kind of the same to me. So sometimes the map helps me out here. Even when I don't have a map, I end up figuring it out. It's just confusing. Whispering group. I know there's one in here. Is it over here? Yeah, there it is. Alright, I'm gonna head over here, get the ones on this side first. A little circle around, get the ones up top. Never mind, the one on this side. How you normally find that wall there. I only saw that in a video, and that's how I know it exists. I'm not sure how you're meant to find it normally, though, because it's basically invisible. how it kind of grays out when you go over there. I don't know what that's about. It does the same thing up here a little bit. Actually, I do, actually. It's because you're up here. I forgot. This area connects. I ignore that. Never mind. Alright. Pale ore. Thank you. Should be the last time we got to come back to Crystal Peaks. Peak. I don't know why I always make it plural.
guys. Since I have the money. <sighs> Nothing else to buy. I don't know if I can buy everything she has with this much. But I'll buy whatever I can. about it, because I'm going to have to go get that nail upgrade next episode, so I'm going to need more money for it. I'm not sure exactly how much it is. I think it, over 2,000 is how much the last upgrade costs. The last one cost 800 that I, that I got. I'll just get up to around 2,000 anyway. Alright, I think that's probably gonna be alright. If it isn't, Lem is always in that area anyway, so I could sell to him. Pick up the last pin. <sighs> All she Bapanada. has left now is the tram stuff, which won't unlock till I have the tram pass, so. Alright, so we have Grimchild. Don't feel like doing his thing yet, though. So we'll be heading over to the Nailsmith, getting the next upgrade. And then, I think I'm going to go over to the King Station and go into Kingdom's Edge. Because I can get another Charm Nosh and another Pale Ore out of there. Uh, which would then just leave one more Pale Ore from the Grubs. Up here. And one from Nosk down in Deep Nest. And then that would be all of them. But I could go clear out the Pantheon. Not the Pantheon. The, the Trials. The trial of... Ugh. Trial of the Warrior, Trial of the Conqueror. Unlock the Trial of the Fool, but not do it yet. But yeah, so that's what's on the agenda for next episode. We'll be heading down, get the nail upgrade, then heading over into Kingdom's Edge to start clearing that out. Thanks anyone for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one.